just came out. It just came out completely. Hey so cute. It's so much. Oh, it just came out. Hi guys, welcome back. I'm gonna show you what all is going on here today. It's a lot, it's a little too much in my opinion. <laughs> Ooh, it's our first day trying to get back to homeschooling after I was sick and then traveling again. So it's been um, it's been a day so far. Thank you to Leanne Amber 4x6 Photo Printer for sponsoring today's video. Like I said, we tried to get back to homeschooling today. Besides the first week we were home from Kenya, we haven't, so that's not many weeks of <laughs> homeschooling. And it's been hard to get back into the routine. Focus for everybody. Today was especially hard, probably because it's raining. Cracking Rainy bikes. days are just difficult because we're in a small house. There's not anywhere for anybody to go. <laughs> and uh, it kind of feels like it's closing in on us today. One fun thing though is we have chicks hatching. Thank you. Boy, I tell you, these chicks, this batch, we just kind of stuck them in here. Eli keeps checking on their water to make sure they have enough humidity, but we haven't been watching them very closely. We haven't candled them much. We we haven't done much and we weren't sure if they would hatch so it was a big surprise today when a bunch of them were cracked. I think we even got the date wrong because we thought it wouldn't happen until tomorrow. And we were actually so shocked it happened. But two are hatched so far. There are seven more cracked at least that we see. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see what the rest of today brings. Does this one even have a leg? Yeah, he does. He's just trying to learn how to use it. No, but mom, his leg is stuck in there. Oh yeah, it is stuck. Oh, it's stuck. There we go. We got it free. <laughs> it takes them a minute. So interesting, Mom, right, Nessa? <laughs> this one's gonna crack. Last time we did this up in our bathroom because we just don't have much space. We cleared a desk for it this time. They're not really supposed to be in the light, in the sun, by the window, all of that jazz, but it has been fun. It's more fun to watch them. Everybody watches them better when they're down in a public area. We had nine hatch last time. I think we'll have 10 this time, nine or 10, at least, that we can tell. So they do just fine here in the window. It's loud in here, but it is just loud today. That's today. Oh, we're ready for that new house to be done. I have to remind myself that this is not normal, our normal life, like when we're all just living life in very small space. Uh, the little ones this morning had kinetic sand all over the kitchen. It occupied them well while we were doing school, but it's just a lot. And of course, I'm doing more things because why not? Let's hatch chicks today in the middle of it. I started making tallow because I need to make some moisturizer and I've never made it myself. Why not do it today? <laughs> this is my brain. We have moved on from kinetic sand and we got the Legos out and we are being very careful where we walk. Because you know this is scary. <laughs> I think the kids are kind of tired. But anyway, I made this tallow this morning. I cooked it up and now I need to strain it out. I normally just strain it out and put it in my freezer or just start using it to cook. The liquid just turns into a solid and it's a great fat to cook with. But I ordered recently and have been using tallow beef tallow on my face, on my body, and I absolutely love it, and I wanted to make my own. So that's the goal today. Look at that dog. <laughs> She's babysitting. Okay, so I'm just going to strain it. I've got a strainer here and a funnel. I don't need much to try out. And I'll save the rest for cooking, or maybe I'll make a lot, I'm not sure. I am so looking forward to space to spread out in our new house, just to have a place to put the homeschool stuff, places for kids to go work where it's quiet, away from young ones, places to for the little ones to play that's not right under my feet, um, places to escape for myself. <laughs> I need a place to escape once in a while. Just take a deep breath. There's nowhere right now <laughs> except the bathroom. That's not good enough. I honestly hadn't felt it that much recently. Um, it's been nice out, it's been warm. But, yeah, just give me one good rainy day. It's been a couple good rainy days. <laughs> and I'm back there. <laughs> Trying to find all the things to be thankful for. Like, we see each other a lot more. Uh, Belle's been working on cleaning up her room. It is hard when there's no place for her stuff to go from Sri Lanka. We are all feeling it, for sure. 
Tori's feeling it because Belle moved out for a while and she had more space for her stuff and now her roommate's back. I think we have four or five months left, so. Hopefully we are in a nice spread out environment by the time the cold weather hits. Right now I know this rain is just temporary which helps, I have to remind myself though sometimes. Okay, I have a big jar of it. I've actually, it's been cooling for a while, so it's not even too hot to hold. And normally I just strain it with this kind of strainer. Small holes, but not the smallest of holes. I'm a little nervous this time because it's actually, it's going on my skin and not that I think this would be bad, I just want it to smell as clean as possible. So I think I'm gonna strain it again through a cheesecloth. And then I think some people maybe re-refine um, it, put it back in the crock pot or whatever for a while again, I'm not sure. But I'm just gonna strain it one more time and then I'm gonna add things to it that also help the smell. Make sure it doesn't smell beefy at all. Don't mind my half-eaten nectarines. A couple kids took bites out of nectarines that were not ready. Lovely. Okay, let's see how this does. Oh, it looks even clearer than that, which is good. Although I think I had a few rinds on the bottom of the strainer. Pork rind kind of stuff, I'm not sure what it's called. Crackles. Those chicks are talking to each other. I hear them. They are gonna be best friends. Ever since we went to Kenya, they've been playing airplane all the time, where they line up, get their headphones, blankets, a doll. They have their tray tables. <laughs> Mom, we just made an airplane. I see that. It's so fun. Oh, airplane on repeat. I have and then I have oh, perfect. I got the seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using belt. No, wait. I'll test the backpack. Guys, can I the airplane? Speaking of Kenya, we've been printing out pictures of our trip. We've been using the Lian Amber 4x6 photo printer, and it all is very, very compact, as you can see here. This part that holds the paper magnetizes to the top, and then you just open it up, pop up this piece, fold it over, and it sticks right in here to print out your pictures. I'm trying to do it with one hand, and I still did it. We have been trying to be much better at printing out physical copies of pictures because it's so easy for pictures to just get lost in the digital world. So you download the app on your phone and then it allows you to edit the picture right on your phone. I can brighten the photo, give it a little more contrast, and I can even zoom in a little make sure it's just how I want it. These pictures are dust proof, waterproof, and fingerprint proof, which is really important in my family with all these kids. It is also an easy consumable replacement. There is a built-in hotspot, so it just connects right to the Wi-Fi on my phone. It also has true color rendering and thermal dye sub printing technology. This means it's high resolution and really good quality of photos. They have a number of filters that you can use to get some more creative photos, even black and white. I do love that it has an automatic lamination four layer printing technology so it prints out in four different colors and then the last layer is a lamination that lasts many many years then with the innovative Wi-Fi connection and built-in hotspot you can have up to five devices connect to it simultaneously which is great in our house because we have five people who have really good pictures on their phones you can check out the code in my description box to get a great deal on your own printer I even sent my mom one of them for her birthday I know she'll get a lot of use out of it another thing that's happening here today because we don't have enough going on is that a farmer friend of ours let us know that her dog's breeder and she loves her dog has a male Great Pyrenees available and is in Pleasantville Iowa which is not too far from us so I think we're gonna go get a puppy early next week so I've been talking with her too which is great news my friend's dog doesn't wander badly and he has been very, very good for them so far, so they really like him. This dog has the same parents, so I think it's a good choice for us. Um, but yeah, we're trying to coordinate that. Why not add something else? But we really do need another Great Pyrenees. We need another livestock guardian dog, that is. And um, I think it's better to have a puppy in the summer than in the fall or winter. Fall's gonna be wild around here. Winter, uh, I wouldn't want a new puppy around that time. So this is the season. 
so I think we need to pull the trigger. A lot of you warned us too that when we talk about getting a puppy from the same parents or breeding uh, at least one litter of puppies with Gable, the dog we have and love, um, that there's something about litter mate syndrome or something like that. We looked it up, a number of you told us about that. Really appreciate that information. We had no idea that it actually can be trouble when litter mates are together. So we don't want any trouble and that was good to know. All right, I've strained almost all of it. There was a lot left there, so I'm glad I strained it with the cheesecloth as well. It looks really good, really clean. Okay, I used one cup of that tallow, four tablespoons of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. A lot of people at this point do essential oils. I'm not a big fan of any of them, really. <laughs> I have some frankincense I might try with a smaller batch, but I do love the smell of vanilla. And I think I'm gonna try that. Vanilla has good anti-aging properties. It's like, a, it's got antioxidants and it's good for acne. Vanilla extract, so I'm gonna try that. My dad helped me get a bottle started when he was here last, so it's like um, maybe a month old. And it's got a ways to go, but I have some store-bought stuff I'm gonna use. I threw in two teaspoons. It's definitely gonna darken it. This is just an experiment, guys. I'm gonna put it in the fridge for a little bit so it's easy to whip. And there's another one starting here. This guy's gonna help it along. Even on the days it doesn't feel like we're learning enough. We're still learning a lot. I mean, we're watching chicks. The sun finally came out. It's not too wet to be out here. Ooh, that's what we needed today. We had some energy that needed to get out. <laughs> not these guys. These guys look real happy. <laughs> Tired and happy. Hi, Brick. Oh. <laughs> okay, this is a little cool. Do you see there's a film on it when I move it around? I think this is a good time to whip it up. We'll find out. I am gonna let it sit in the fridge a little longer because it's still pretty liquidy. And I'm gonna add another teaspoon of vanilla. It smells very good but the beef is still stronger than that. I'm gonna have to do some more research about getting that beefy smell out of it, because there are ways. I just haven't done enough research. <laughs> okay, back to the fridge. I actually added two teaspoons, and it smells good enough to eat. The chaos back there. You know how, as a mom, sometimes, maybe it's just me, you go through seasons where it's very busy, and someone will ask you, what's your hobby? And you think, other people have hobbies? <laughs> Am I supposed to have time for a hobby, too? Does falling asleep to the TV twice a week yeah. count as a hobby? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but I did realize that trying new homesteading tasks, self-sufficiency things, making things from scratch, learning new things, that is my hobby. It makes me happy, I enjoy it, it gives me energy. And some days when it's a crazy day and I feel like, it's too much, I want to <laughs> run and hide. <laughs> I'm still doing a project and it actually makes me happy. It brings me joy, so I guess that's my hobby. I'm teaching my kids how to learn th new things while I'm learning new things too. I think it promotes the love of learning in this household, right? You wanna learn how to make um, your own lotion? I don't know. <laughs> She's like, no. Oh, <laughs> They said this one's Skunky. Really? But mom, this one cracks even more. No, this is skunky. This one? No, this one is. No, this one is. <gasps> that one is cracking, you're right. They scared oh, me. And this one, and this one, mm -hmm. and this one. I keep whipping up the vanilla one. It's not quite. Okay. The consistency I want yet, but I ended up making a lavender one for the kids after their bath and an orange one, which smells pretty good. I think Sola might like that one. And I think I may do a lemon one too. I have a small box of essential oils and I happen to have those available. The frankincense one is a little too strong for me. <laughs> you guys are loud. <laughs> I did buy one uh, Telebalm before I started using it. I bought one with no scent and I bought one that was orange vanilla. And that combination, I wouldn't think would be good, but it was good, so I could also mix. The, the noise. But lemon I think would be nice in the kitchen to just put on your hands after you do a lot of dishes. Story of my life. 
Um, and I'm gonna use these little jars that I happen to have right now. I had a whole box of them, almost a full box. Um, I'm going to order some amber jars. I think it's better when they have essential oils that they're in a dark jar or if it's in glass that you keep it in a cupboard. So I don't have those yet, but I'm just using what I do have. What you aren't seeing is lunch that wasn't totally cleaned up. Impromptu tallow balm making disaster of a small kitchen. If I can get this kitchen cleaned up and all this tallow done, I feel somewhat productive about today. We did do school this morning. We did, we did get it done, it just was painful. And I've had a lot of work today. And Solo has a conference call tonight and he doesn't want to do it from home. I wonder why. There's nowhere where he can be guaranteed not to be interrupted. So I understand. My big kids went off, like Tori and up. They're all at a game night thing. We're gonna finish strong. <laughs> That's the goal. We've worked on this house a lot. It's not perfect yet, but um, <laughs> I gotta make dinner. And I was gonna just feed the kids granola because it's just the little kids at home and they would have been very happy with that or the smoothie even. But then I realized my big kids are gonna come home, Solo's gonna come home, everybody will be hungry. So I really, even though we're all not eating together and I'm just feeding them alone early, not early, it's almost seven. <laughs> They've been snacking guys, don't worry. Uh, I still have to make dinner, you know? That's how it goes. So I had some ground beef, thawed that, or cooked that up, three pounds. Gonna cut some cilantro into it. Lime's ready, avocado's ready, gonna grate this cheese. I am out of my taco seasoning, of course. Only when I'm late on dinner. Today I'm using six tablespoons of chili powder, three tablespoons of cumin, six teaspoons of garlic powder, six teaspoons of paprika, three teaspoons of onion powder, oregano, and salt, and one and a half teaspoons of black pepper. Isn't that pretty? I've been testing out new recipes, and so I've been making smaller batches than normal, just to kind of see what I like. I never measure this part at all. That seasoning was very good. We'll have it with taco chips and some tortillas. Eli's taking those little kids for a gator ride, which is helping me a lot right now. Here's dinner. Wow, Eli kept the kids out for a little bit, the little ones, and I was able to whip this whole kitchen into shape. That is one thing I will say about a small house. We, it is hard to keep it clean. It is truly harder to keep it clean, for real. There's nowhere for things to go, or people to go, <laughs> but it is easier to clean it all up because it's just not that big. The other day our house was destroyed for reasons I won't go into and we all worked together and in two hours the whole house was very clean. In our bigger house I would, it, would, it would have taken a lot more time if it was that destroyed. But we can also destroy it really 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 quick. In fact it wasn't even two hours it was less than that. It's a quick cleanup when everybody's working together. Now I'm ready to work on my tallow balm I've tried whipping this one several times just because this is all new to me. It's an experiment. I think I may have gotten it too cold this time. There's only one way to learn, right? You gotta try it. And I put this off for too long, but I don't wanna buy lotion. And I really love what tallow does, so I have to learn it. Actually, that's very much what my store-bought is like. That's very close to the texture. Okay, this one is orange, I think. I added a little vanilla to it. You can see that there, um, just because I like that smell. It is a little, I put it on my arms. It's a little waterier than my store-bought one. So I think next time I'll try more tallow, less olive oil. In fact, I'm gonna add a little tallow, just plain tallow to it right now. But we're, we're getting there. Okay, in the end I found a video that actually whipped it a lot longer, the lady in that video. <laughs> So I did that. I whipped it for like two minutes and I think it's really good. We'll see. It's also gets pretty warm with this. So I think that's why it seemed a little waterier than this. <laughs> so I'm just going to try it over time. I got four jars of the orange vanilla. I'll get four jars of lavender and four jars of just plain vanilla, which I haven't whipped yet. That's a lot of tallow. We have three chips Do now. the thing you're putting off. Oh, we got a third. It's a third chip. Oh, there's a just third. Watch. And this one I see the That pink. one's in the exhausted just born stage. Oh, yep. There's one peeking out there. Peeping out. 
Please wrap me chicks. There's so much chicks. So cute. So the fourth one's yeah, coming. I like the dry ones. I love when they're dry. Mm -hmm. that makes they're so fluffy. Oh, I saw it. But they gotta learn how to stand up <gasps> and walk. Oh, oh, there's so many in town. <laughs> Dinner was a hit despite the minimal effort I put into it. <laughs> Solo just got home. He's taking over, putting the kids to bed, making sure it all gets cleaned up. I am sitting out here on our balcony to work. My turn to work. I have a good view though. All the ch chickens and ducks just went in. Sky is lovely. I can see our new house. And it's quiet out here, most importantly. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching today. I'm slowly getting my act back together, slowly. And I'll be sharing my schedule with you soon, more in detail, because I am getting to it better <laughs> all the time. <laughs> There's just been too many interruptions, too many things lately, but it's all good. <laughs> we always get back to it. We'll talk to you guys in the next video. Until then, take a look at my chickens in a tree.